I never set out to be a scientist. When I was a little girl, I wanted to be a lawyer. Uh, and like many people, it was a charismatic teacher that changed my path. Uh, I had a magnificent high school biology teacher, and I had the great pleasure of going back to visit him about 10 years ago. I just wanted the opportunity to go back and say, this is all because of you. Uh, it was a terrific day. I got into science administration uh, because I was asked to serve as the associate dean of the Graduate School of Oceanography at University of Rhode Island by the new dean. Unfortunately, after about four years, he was recruited away to another university. And uh, my provost said, uh, Margaret, that's why we have associate deans, you're it. And I wound up going into science administration. I find that it's very, very similar to everything that I was doing as a scientist. I'm just doing it for the institution instead of just for myself and my lab. I think that one of the big challenges for the ocean science community is that uh, we are engaged in research that some find very disturbing for political reasons. And so that research has politicized uh, oceanography in ways that we never experienced in the past. So uh, in part, it's because we're working on the problems that are really facing all of us. And the answers are sometimes answers that people don't want to hear. I think that another uh, challenge is that we have more capacity to observe the ocean and to understand it than we ever have. Uh, but a lot of that capacity comes at great price. Many of the problems that we face can't be solved by oceanographers alone. Uh, they're going to require us to work with atmospheric scientists, with solid earth scientists, with economists, with uh, people who work in political science and sociology to frame the questions. Ocean conservation is important because the ocean is one of our major resources for people. Whether it's fish from the ocean, whether it's the effect that the ocean has on climate, whether it's the way that we use the ocean for marine transportation, whether it's the way we use the ocean for national security, all of those are important to us. And so understanding how the ocean is changing, how we can use the ocean sustainably is the heart of ocean conservation. But in a way, it's really the heart of conservation of our ability to keep living on the planet sustainably with the ocean that is the goal. We know that we're going to need resources from the ocean. We know that we're going to use the ocean. So we need to focus on how we do that sustainably. It's going to require oceanographic institutions to understand how the systems work, how the pieces interact, so that when we go to look at conservation, we know which pieces have to be conserved which pieces we can allow to adapt to people and how all of that fits together. One of the things that uh, I've been working on my whole career is how to make it possible for people to work together across those boundaries and across those barriers and uh, realize what we have to do to solve the problems that we have today. Uh, another opportunity that I've had while I was at NSF was to really work during a time when the resources in oceanography were expanding to be able to put in place facilities and infrastructure that are going to help ocean science uh, for decades to come. Uh, new, the new Arctic Regional Research Vessel, the Seculiac, that's up in Alaska. Uh, the Ocean Observing Initiative, the new phase of the Ocean Drilling Program. Uh, a lot of facilities like that we were able to put money into because it was available then. Everywhere I go, when I talk to people about uh, that aren't in oceanography, about how they got to know the ocean, how they got interested in it, nine times out of ten, it was a visit to an aquarium. Huge opportunity for oceanographic institutions, academic and research institutions to be able to partner with Aquaria